<laughs> there's no crotch sniffing. Actually, my neighbor upstairs, the animal hoarder, stole the cat and named it and everything. She <laughs> named it Embers and then trapped it in her house and would never let it out again. Because she's like, oh, I don't want this poor cat to be, you know, like, abused outside by the world, living free Is in the world. Is that what your neighbor in the hotel calls your room now? Embers? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now that you have your own room, your girlfriend can come over. <laughs> so they call that's that's Ember's room. <laughs> Do your parents call it Care Embers? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, not, not do, do they like your? Do they like Kara? They're cool with Kara. Um, JJ's a pain in the ass. So he's a pain in the ass with everyone. So it's hard. He says he likes her. Um. He wasn't really a pain in the ass with me. Not that you would ever notice. I met him. He's cool. He, 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 so, he, but having he your own like you hotel out. room, I mean, don't you have a little bit more freedom? Freedom. A little I've bit? been more freedom, but smoking weed there is sort of impossible. So I haven't been smoking in the but room. But Kara loves that fact. Um, I guess, but that's why she I wouldn't guess. come over. Does she get okay? Uh, hold on, I have a question. Does do you get positive? Comments when you don't smoke, or just negative comments when you do? Uh, the not smoking time. There isn't really a not smoking time, but I mean, like, I had after work or something. Like, if I I could not smoke all day and go see her, but um, the truth is, my stuff still hurts. So I, if I'm gonna stretch a bunch of hours, then I'm like doubled over and uh, abdominal pain. So. So does it you know, does um. But I mean, does she always know when you're sign? I guess. We, we don't talk about it as much anymore. So she should have given up? She gave I up tell her that she has to give up talking about it, and so it comes up now and then. It's not a daily thing that it comes up, but it's, it comes up more often than I would hope. But uh, I also tell her that it's not optional and that she can stop talking about it. <laughs> Sorry, you know, I'll brush my teeth, I'll wash up. You should find something of hers to arbitrarily dislike. I'm difficult enough with my um, mannerisms. I don't have to go picking things that I find annoying. <laughs> I don't have to go finding anything new. I have to hold back from my uh, fascist organization systems <laughs> fascist self-serving um, circular logical <laughs> systems <sighs> so yeah it leaves me going and like going up Chantry and hiking around and smoking weed in awesome spots but having really fun hikes like it's really awesome up Chantry it's really cool I'd like to go up to Chantry again. Kimberly and I drove up to the mountains a little bit of Highway 39 the other, the other night. Um, we needed to neck. But we didn't. Because we don't live alone anymore. But we didn't neck. Did you know that? And in fact, we Kimberly didn't really get out of the car. Delilah lives with us now. Who? Delilah. Oh, she lives with you? Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, okay. Yeah. She's been with us now for about four months. Uh huh. So you guys stack park. You have to like juggle all these keys if someone has to get out. That's the worst part of anything. I, mm -hmm. I had that situation at Eric Nelson's house that we had like all these cars, probably four cars. Oh my god! It's not that bad because basically, um, Delilah always goes in last, and she always hangs her keys up in the front door. So I, I because I'm her father, it doesn't bother me much to have to move her car and stuff for her. Fair enough. If it were like, or her feet, or if, her, if it were like a roommate or something, I'd be like, okay, you're me always having to move your car is starting to piss me off. Eventually, sure. you know, it would take sure. me a while. I'd probably be okay with. It, it depends if they had to move my car equally or not, you know. I had this roommate who, <clears throat> she got the that spot, the outside spot, but she was grumpy, grumpy. Like, especially in the morning. So, uh, one day I was like, yeah, I can back my truck out between her car and the tree. And it's like, one of the uh -oh. only times I... My own car, I'm like, 
I pride myself on not being a stupid idiot. And then <laughs> fucking crash my car into my own tree. Because I didn't want to talk to Alice and the evil turd. She's such an evil turd. A fucking Alice, and I tell you. I got her voted off the island, though. Good for you. We had, like, a four roommate system. And, um, literally, like... Sorry, Allison, we vote you off the island. You made me scratch my car. <laughs> it wasn't because of that. It was so unpleasant. Such a, oh, she would make fish dishes and leave them out for, like, more than one day with water in them in the sink. Let me guess, she was Asian. No, she was this gross white girl chick who taught music at, like, Montclair High School or something. She's just nasty. The only thing that she lived for was to, like, dress up like a 50s chick and do this dancing stuff on a weekend. Um, I don't, there was, like, a name for it. I forget what the name Rockabilly? was. Rockabilly? Something like that, yeah. Psychobilly? I think she was doing dancing party dance. She was so unpleasant and to live with roommates. Like, you, you gotta act, act cool a little bit. I, I don't think I've ever lived with somebody who's awful to live with. What? Yeah, can Except for me. <laughs> no, you're not awful, but, but. <laughs> You and I usually get along great. That's the funny thing, is Kim and I still bicker occasionally, but... You gotta bicker? I mean, what, are you gonna always agree? You got ESP, and then you're, like, gonna agree? Well, that I got ESP, absurd. and I'm gonna agree, Kimberly. <laughs> With I your agree. ideas. We agree on everything, cause there's peace in the world. Peace in my heart, and then there's moisture too. Treat others how I want to be treated every time. Golden rule. <laughs> it's a really inspirational song. We should write a musical around it. I think we just wrote it. Well, I mean, Sorry, we, we need more songs. We need songs like... Now I'm feeling sad. So long ago was I left alone. Like that kind of shit. I pray to the sixteen types and Father Eric of the types. Bless thee. <laughs> Bless thee, ISTJ. <laughs> Bless your eyes, your E's, your S's and N's, your T's and F's. Bless them all. Have you had any crazy people um, come through your site lately? Do you have any like weird, weird? No, you know it's been kind of. I've been kind of dormant for like a couple of months. That I'm just sort of in a hole, you know, like just basically, I guess, doing relationship stuff. Oh or, yeah, yeah, doing like not inside of the computer box. Yeah. Reality. Going, you know, going, doing stuff. Kim really wants me to do around the house. Um. Going out to eat, basically, looks like what we do. We do chores and go out to eat. Do you get totally broke going out to eat? Well, I mean, the thing is, yeah, we don't always go out to eat. But I'm just saying, like... But when you go, how, will you, how, how much can you eat out for? I'm actually sort of curious. Um, well, it depends where we go. I, I, we like to... We prefer to go to the cheaper places. So, mm -hmm. like, Donahue's down there you can get this nine chicken strip meal box thing for thirteen dollars twelve ninety nine something like that anyway it's enough for both of us no problem and then we we'll usually even have some leftovers because they're big chicken strips yeah and you get a lot you get like a lot of mashed potatoes and fries and stuff like that <laughs> so like that's a good cheap meal and the thing is, we don't, we only eat out ever, like, we don't ever eat out more than once a day. Sometimes yeah. we'll eat out once a day, but we don't, we don't eat out more often than that. Sure. Um, and when we do, we go to Norm sometimes, that's a little bit more expensive. That's like 20 some bucks for the two of us. That sounds like a total deal. Well, they've got these six ninety nine burger plate special things. Like, you gotta get the specials, you know. That's the thing. I have not been to a norm since. God, I don't even know. A long time. I go to Taco Lita on um, 
five taco day. Five taco day is Friday. So I'll get 10 tacos on five taco day. And then I have used tacos for later on. So I have like five used tacos. It's called leftovers. <coughs> in my world, we've got the taco lita calendar beginning with no taco day. Mm -hmm. Four taco day, four taco day, four taco day, four taco day, <laughs> five taco day, four taco day. That's what you Friday. eat? Every day? No, 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 no. That's just the taco lita calendar. You oh. get four tacos for the price of four, and then on Friday you get five for the price of four. That's the calendar. You don't need days like Monday or Wednesday. This is all based on... Is what it? day is it four tacos? Which four tacos? Doesn't really matter. Not Friday. <laughs> exactly. Not Friday and not no taco day. What's no taco day again? It's got to be Sunday. Okay. No, it's going to be Monday. It's going to be Monday. You, well, yeah, it's true. The calendar should start on Monday. No, because restaurants close on Mondays, not on Sunday. No, it's closed on Sunday, though. Taco Lita is? It's closed on Sunday. They may have been closed on Monday at some point. Why would they, they close on stuck. Sunday? Someone's probably religious over there or something. I see. Yeah. <coughs> religious like the bridges of Mad Madison County. It's different. It's like the same family works there like the same people for like decades work there and what's especially interesting I was walking across the street to Starbucks today on Huntington and second across from Embassy Suites and I see this dude coming out from behind Starbucks where only homeless people come out of and he's wearing an all-white uniform with a Takalita thing on it and Takalita hat he's with the bicycle the people who Work at Taco Lita, like live homeless behind Starbucks, or maybe just urinates back there. Yeah, maybe you just had to stop to pee. Could be. On this route to Taco Lita. There's a bathroom inside of Starbucks. Like, may oh, you know what? Maybe it's a special, like, drug bazaar back there. I haven't been back. I I mean, I haven't gone. You know, you go through the fire lane back, back to the dumpster zone between the train track. Like, they, why they would could I have They could have old Negroes tossing dice. In an alley, they could have yes. cockfighting. They could have, um, who knows what back there. They could have a carnival, a little carnival. carnival. Shooting gallery. <laughs> Maybe he was Red trying to Rider win. Red BB guns, you could shoot at the train as it He was time. just trying to win a prize for his gal. Come out with a little stuffed turtle or something. In fact, that's where the bicycle came from. He won it at the carnival. He <laughs> won it playing craps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he won it out the old Negro playing craps. All right, I bet on my tooth. I'm gonna win a bicycle. I'll bet this all back. You just found that in the trash over there. So, if someone has gold teeth, or if they go to jail, is someone just gonna yank their tooth out? Well, I would imagine it's difficult to get pliers in jail. Mr. T could do stuff like that. You have to have some strong ass fingers. They probably beat the shit out of them. Take it. Oh it yeah, it'd be dangerous to have gold teeth. I guess you know, we might have just, to consider that. I guess they wouldn't just say, "Okay, hold still while I yank your teeth out." <laughs> they would just be really efficient about it. But I was—I saw some mugshot of a dude who obviously had like pimp teeth, and I guess if you keep up your, you know, massive aggression, no one can get you. But I don't know if you can keep it up when you're asleep. Well. Yeah, I don't know what it's like. It depends where you go to jail, I think, too. Probably. I don't have any gold teeth. I wish I had some gold teeth. It'd be nice to just put one in once. Just, you know, a nice plate with some diamonds on it. I've got a couple of spots where they could put a gold tooth. Mm -hmm. I don't know, five times as fancy. It's pretty cool. All the rappers are doing it. If you want to be famous, you I really do. have to go to the gold front teeth. No, I don't want gold front teeth. I thought I want to pour my bong out. I've been going to, like, I'm going to sleep sort of early. So yeah, I'm pretty tired schedule. too, actually. Uh, it's always good to get enough sleep. Oh yeah, I totally believe in that. I never drink Red Bull. I laugh at that product. I'm like, if you need a Red Bull, you should actually just take a nap. 
Well said, sir. Thank you for this um, uh, concentrate, Cameron. sort of the same forever. I can imagine anything would be different about it after a while. But what? Concentrate. Oh yeah, it was fine. Concentrate doesn't get stale. Yeah. So yeah, I look forward to leftover taco lita. When I get back, because there is a fridge in the hotel room. Nice. And a microwave. So I can be completely uh, You're good to go. You just gotta get yourself some cans of pork and beans, pour it in a bowl, and microwave the shit out of it. I, um, I have my very own almost complete omelet from the morning in a Pyrex thing that I can microwave. So I, I even, believe me, I'm actually doing well with hoarding food. They've got like food for you at 5.30, and if you like drinks, they'll give you six alcohol drinks, which people can get drunk, I guess. That's how it works. Yeah, alcohol drinks. Uh, I think this is my garbage. Your garbage can would consist it's of... right on diagonal over this screen. If you just sort of do a looping shot over the screen, it'll probably make it in there. Yeah. Well, sounded like the ground, but sounded like a little short. All right. Well, nice to see you, Senor. Nice to see you too. Thanks so yes, much yes. for coming over. Sure. And I hope to see you again soon. Yeah, let's do that. Um, yeah. Well, next time um, I'll talk to Kimberly before before I talk to you, and we'll we'll get have dinner or something. Yeah. Cool. Hey, did you know that they have bird scooters in Pasadena now? What are these things again? The electric scooters that everyone <coughs> hates. The like, uh, you rent the scooter for a dollar and ride it around, and people are running at 15 miles an hour on the sidewalk and like right between everybody. I guess you're not. You don't spend a lot of time in LA or. But it sounds fun. On your radar. It's really fun. I took it to the skate park. My scooter. Do you have your own? I have my own. You didn't have to rent it. Didn't have to rent it. Nope. I had to buy it. I bought it for 200 bucks from someone on Craigslist. Is that a good deal? Yeah. I got one that goes faster than the, the other one. Oh, it really? Has a special, uh, a special controller on it. So it goes 19 miles an hour, not 15 miles an hour. 19 is pretty damn fast on like a scooter you're standing up on. <coughs> fun. I'm riding my squirrely thing, and uh, it makes it more fun to ride something that's like at the edge of crashing. I have this burger helmet. <laughs>